Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, this is day three of our move in the cacti and succulents in the polytunnel and the yard, all around, rearranging everything for the spring and summer and bringing a lot of the ones that we've been overwintering indoors in the house into the garden and the polytunnel. And um, we, if you haven't seen day one and day two of, the, of this vlog, links up above to both of them videos. Do watch the day one and day two so you follow what's happening. And um, today what we're going to be doing, me and Hansi, who is behind the camera at the moment, so big thumbs up for Hansi. <laughs> and um, do a moment subscribe and links up above to Hansi's channel too, guys. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, doing the aloe bit, the aloes, the gasterias, the hawarthias, and all the aloe-like plants, like the agaves, grouping all them together onto another plant table in the polytunnel. And we've brought a lot more plants down from our two plant rooms in the house. As you see, we have a selection of um, a few things here we've just started to bring down. We're going to be putting these into the polytunnel as well. And um, but, so first of all, we're going to be dealing with um, all of the... The Lilia Sea family, as they call it, which is obviously the aloes, gasterias, hawarthias, and everything. And um, we're going to show you what it all looks like before and what it looks like after. And it's not as sunny today, guys, as you can see. It's, it's starting to rain a little bit, um, overcast and grey, but it's still very warm, nice and mild. So I'm not complaining. And the forecast of sun to come out this afternoon, which is going to be great. And um, these all getting a little nice bit of rainwater on them, which is good for the plants, you can't beat natural rainwater there. And um, as it's going to mean, I'm going to have a nice busy day ahead. So um, hope you follow it through and enjoy the video, guys. And guys, as you said, this is a collection of our aloes and our hawarthias and gasterias on this uh, main part of the table here. We have a few more jotted about the place, as you can see, um, see here. And this one's lovely coming into flower. That's the um, the variegated form of the gasteria, absolutely gorgeous. And this one here, beautiful, beautiful agave. Um, gorgeous color, multicolored here one. And um, a lovely flower coming up, which is wonderful to see. So we make sure when we do move the plants, we keep them in the same direction because we don't want to lose the flowers on them. And we have a selection of this one coming as well in flower, which is gorgeous, as you can see. And a few more sort of here, as you can see, the aloes, gasteria, and also aloe-like type of plants. We might group all them together too. As I say, the gasteria, aloes, and hawartias are all part of the Liliacea family because um, they're related to the lily. We've got a few more down here. And this one here, it obviously isn't an aloe. It's a bulbine. And look at the most incredible flowers on that, guys. So um, stay tuned for a video. I actually did film it the other day, so I'm let's get it uploaded of this, of this one in flower here. Gorgeous. But it looks very aloe-like, so we're going to be grouping that one with it too. And um, a few more, as you can see, see here. And um, that's what we've got. So we're going to be grouping them, putting them all together here and um, sit down there all into all into a pile probably outside because a bit of rain won't hurt them and then clearing this uh, probably this table I think we're going to completely clear it and then do a wonderful display display of them on here well guys listen to that rain the one thing here in Ireland when it starts to rain it doesn't stop and as you can see all of these plants out here in the yard they're all getting a good soaking but they uh, <laughs> there's Hansi giving the peace sign <laughs> And um, all of these plants here need a good watering, so they're not going to come to any harm. And um, the good news is they're forecasted to be um, probably a little bit like this tomorrow, then the next day nice and sunny. And at this time of year, a lot of cacti and succulents can take a good deal of uh, water without being any, any problems. As I say, if it was to carry on like this for weeks on end, we'd have to move a lot of them back into the polytunnel again. But we'll keep an eye, see how it goes. We usually keep some outdoors, the ones that can take a lot of rain, like the trichocereus during the um, the summer and they were getting a good good their first water in there all the ones outside the um, loffer for us and um, some of the other some of the seleni series as well have good a good uh, water lovely lovely natural rain water oh and I'm nice and dry in here <laughs> now guys that's the um, table all um, emptied out uh, and what we've got we got another one of these tables the plastic tables that we get from Amazon about 30 pound about 33 euros and they're great because they're completely waterproof they're like picnic tables and they're brilliant for like um you haven't about spilling water everywhere and like wood and of course more the the wonderful black trays that are so cheap 199 from a pound stretcher and um that's it so we've got a selection of uh 
I'll have the aloes all on the floor here and um, see what we can do then and show you what it looks like when, we're, um, when we put them all away. And here's Hansi <laughs> doing his little dance. <laughs> so um, it's going to be fun and games, guys. Now, guys, we've put a few of the bigger aloes at the back first, and uh, Hans is just doing a bit of pruning there, removing the dead leaves. Yeah, uh, yeah, off his um, his beautiful aloe there that he's had for many, many, many years. And um, I've made a video on how to remove the dead leaves from aloes. So um, links up above if you haven't seen that video and you don't know what to do with your dead aloe leaves. As I say, they can just be left. It's it's harmless, but from an aesthetically point of view, it's lovely. I think it's better to remove them. They look better and also reduce the chances of fungus and things like that. Look, that's nice and neat now. And um, this is Hans's lovely big arborescens aloe that he's had for many, many years. He bought over from Sweden. And this is um, my little aloe arborescens that um, there's a few actually in this pot that I grew from seed. Um, about three years ago now, you see, it came from Rachel from gardening at Dewensa. So thank you, Rachel. Doing very, very well. So um, that's that the. That is my oldest one. Ah, yes. There, it was 30 years. Wow, Hansi's had this. At least, yeah. Gosh, Hansi's had this one for like so long. Uh, and he bought over from Sweden as well. This is a traditional aloe vera, yeah. Because they all seem to, everyone just calls them aloe vera, don't they? But really, aloe is a massive genus. And um, this is the true aloe vera. Um, obviously, it has the little white little spots on and the markings. But you see, there's many different types. And um, all of uh, just a load more to go and um, put onto the table now. Now guys, that's us nearly finished with the table with um, a lot of the um, aloes, gasterias, hawarthias um, and even a couple of the adromistras, all of the, um, the types that are the Liliaceae family. We've still got a few more to sort out here, as you can see. And um, Hans is doing a little bit of uh, potting up. We've got a couple of bowl gardens. I've got some... Uh, Hawarthia's in there that we're taking out. He's doing a great job there. And look at the weather now, guys. Couldn't ask it. Look at that beautiful blue sky after all that rain um, earlier. That is a beautiful, beautiful day. And it is sweltering now. So um, this is it in, in Ireland. You always get um, all the different seasons in one day. <laughs> and uh, oh my God, look at the roots on that. Wow. Hans is doing an amazing job here, guys. He's been uh, going through potting a lot of the um, aloes and gasterias and that as we get in Hawarthias as we go along, save us having to do it later so we don't have to disturb the plant display. But that, them roots and that are amazing. And um, we always like to use John Innes compost, which has got um, extra added sand and extra perlite and things. But with the Hawarthias, they can take a little bit more bit more moisture than the desert type of cacti so in this case we're just using the johnnies with the sand added and um, that's great uh, so we've done wonderful wonderful day we're working really hard so far and um, done a lot this afternoon as I say it's still chaos in the polytunnel <laughs> so much going on. I just have to show you this guys so to take it something completely random from what we're doing but these are the tourers that um, these Hansi grew from seed from um, our wonderful friend Olga from Olga's Dreamland. Um, she gifted us these seeds and look at these. Now, Olga, if you're watching this, they are doing remarkable. Aren't they beautiful? And these are some of the smaller ones, absolutely flourishing. And we've got a few things coming into flower, we notice now. The sun's brought everything out. This is one of our ribsalis here in beautiful little flower. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. Tiny, tiny, tiny little flowers. And I'm Lots, another little one there just starting to open up lots more in bud absolutely beautiful to see and them um, loads the sunshine has just come out now and it's brought everything all the flowers have started to open there really really beautiful we've got lots of the um, epiphyllums all starting to come into bud as well so this is very exciting for us and um, as I say here we have the um, variegated um, gasteria here lovely big flower bloom on as well and um, Another lovely aloe there. The, oh, Hansi's done a great job potting that up. Ah, he's the best. <laughs> Where do you want it, Dolly? Um, now, try and find somewhere to put it. We're going to have to probably extend it onto this table with some of the aloes and gas tears because we're sort of running out of space and we don't want to overcrowd it too much because obviously these plants are going to grow. 
but some look at that for lovely lovely flower spike guys and as i say i showed you the um the bulbine earlier we've moved him here kept him in the same position of what he was facing the sun so he doesn't lose his flowers and um stunning guys stunning so um that's a good job done here and we're going to start then on this table to extend the ones we've got left on the floor onto here so there you go guys, that's all of the um, Lilia CA family um, done. That's the Hawarthias, Gasterias, the Aloes, and the little Adromistras here, <laughs> and some of the Agaves. And as you can see, we've got them all nicely displayed here. Um, and so wonderful to see so many coming into the most incredible of flower guys so um, that's all the table and we've left space around each one so when it comes to repotting there's going to be more room <laughs> as you can see although it's looking a bit like a, a jungle already but um, just to, to let you know there's more room there for when we do pot on and that's it so now we're going to we've got this plant table here the second one put the plant trays on we're now going to start on the echeverias because they're sort of similar with the rosette shapes, completely different succulents, but with the rosette shapes, they're sort of similar. <coughs> and we have a few mixed around with the succulents here and a few on the floor. And we're going to be putting them on here and then uh, show you what they look like when they're all grouped together. Now guys, that's just working on the other, other tables here. And we have got a selection of Echeverias on there and graptopatalums and um, also some aeniums and a few um, sedums and other types of succulents that are sort of all around the same shape um, just to look aesthetically pleasing so lots lots of buds coming on them as well which is really great and we've just started on this other table here and again we've got a mixture of a selection of different succulents some crassulas some sedums and <coughs> Another aeonium at the back there, and this lovely, lovely crassula, or the Kalankoe bicolor, and this one here, which is really lovely, um, commonly known as the staghorn plant. <laughs> this one, and a few little cuttings here. So we're just rearranging all of this. But I've got to show you this, guys. Hans is doing an amazing job of re repotting everything. We've just lifted this off because, bear in mind, a lot of these have not been moved since the winter, and it is growing out the bottom. Another, the plant is actually coming out the bottom. Now, this is a tuberous succulent. Mm. and it is called a it's a um <coughs> yeah Senecio. it's a senecio and senecio articulatus um and it's quite a wacky type of plant in that it forms a large tuber underneath <laughs> has little leaves it's a beautiful little variety Triple wacky. Uh, really wacky but um i cannot believe that we lifted it off the table and it is actually it obviously needs repotting but the other part of the tube has grown right the way through there even has a leaf on it yeah. that's mad so hans is going to be potting that up i just wanted to show you that guys because it's quite bizarre <laughs> and then, then we'll show you what it looks like when all of the tables are done now hans has just got this the senecio articulata out of its pot and look at the roots guys and that's the big tuberous roots yeah. where roots the and shoots uh, <laughs> roots and stems yeah where they all come from isn't that incredible it's like a snake in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Indoor snake. An indoor who snake. Want, who want to be an outdoor snake? <laughs> 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 oh, wow. <laughs> now, guys, that's the other plant table all completed. And we've got a mixture here, as I say, of some crassulas, calanchoes, and um, a few other different types of succulents here. So um, that's great. And... Plenty of room as well for them when they get to be repotted in the future too. And Hans, he's done an amazing job. He's been repotting quite a few of the succulents here and he's been putting lovely crystals around them as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Crystals always help the plants and they look fantastic. So um, Hansi, yeah. big thumbs up. He's been working really hard, doing a lot of repotting <laughs> while I've been doing the rearranging and everything. So that's great. Now we have this space here. <coughs> And by the way, that big blue um, bucket, by the way, the water barrel, is what we use to support this polytunnel. As you can see, we've got it tied up. We fill it up with water <coughs> and it helps when we have the winds and everything. We had two, two hurricanes last year, <coughs> last winter, and this absolutely was fantastic at supporting this, the metal frame inside this polytunnel, which has been amazing. And we're going to put um, a four foot four foot table up here a little table like one of these but some um, four foot and then we're going to do another arrangement on here i'll probably put these beautiful detouras on there and a few of the other succulents 
Yeah, this was the table we, we eat dinner last day. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, it's where we had our, our dinner last night on. <laughs> our little camping table. No, no, we have to stand and eat. <laughs> no, we have to stand and eat. <laughs> well, what we've done, we've took uh, one of the wooden tables out of here. Um, <laughs> which doesn't hold too much weight, but it should hold our dinners because we're not big eaters. <laughs> and uh, we're using the uh, metal camping table then to put there. So, no um, problems, only solutions. That's so true. <laughs> right, guys, that's the other plant table all done. And we've put our epiphytic type of cacti on this one here. We have our daturas, which obviously aren't cacti, <laughs> but they're the, um, the beautiful datura seedlings we have here. And these are high moisture plants. So we've got these on the back here and we've got our epiphytic ones that will probably need daily watering and moisture all together. <coughs> we have a selection of Selenicerius grandiflorus here and um, also some other Hylocerius and um, a selection of epiphylums and Pinocerius cacti all sort of moisture loving cacti that are going to need a lot of water in here so that's that table done which is uh, wonderful so so far we have done all the aloes gasterias and the hawarthias all on this table here and the echeverias and a selection of other succulents too and um, aeniums and crassulas and the epiphytic plants and the detouras so so far so good as um, as you can see here and and now we are going to Make a bit of a start it's getting a little bit late we're going to make a start on um, this side here with probably the parodias and the noto cacti onto the the back um, back wall here and i'll show you what it looks like when it's all done now guys i started to do the uh, parodias and the noto cacti but to be honest it's starting to get a bit dark now and me and hansi are feeling hungry so we're going to have some pasta and salad <coughs> And we're going to wrap up for tonight, as they say. There's so much to do, guys. It's going to take us a long time, as you can see. So um, we're going to stop this for tonight. And we're going to carry on a little bit in the morning. And then we're going to focus on doing the house. We've got the windows to do where we took all the plants away. Rearranging all of them. But we've done enough in the polytunnel for now. As you can see, a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> Today we have some washing drying up here in the polytunnel. <laughs> and... Um, that's it now and we're going to be sort of working the next few days so we may not have a chance to carry on in the polytunnel probably until after the weekend but we've done a lot and um, so far so good so um, that's it for tonight guys <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video and I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of <laughs> plants P -p 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 power, power. <laughs> as, as always, always from Ireland. Ireland until the next video guys bye bye <laughs> <laughs> <Mwah. laughs>